Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. Dear ones, you just heard the meditation. And the words of the meditation and the wisdom of Meleha. For she said, meditation is the place of preparation, of allowance, to get to another state. And that other state, dear ones, that meditation allows is almost like a barrier, a wall. Sometimes it's, it's not even recognized. It was only literally a few days ago when I was in that place you call Egypt, in a temple, where the attendees involved couldn't even touch the walls, couldn't even sit out, and they stood and they listened to a channel that was short about meditation. And it's a channeling that will always be controversial. For meditation on this planet right now and even to you is seen as something you do. And you do for its own sake. You go and you meditate and you come home. It's almost like saying, well, I'm going to go and prepare and come home. And somebody will say, well, what are you preparing for? And, you, and the answer truly is, I haven't any idea. I'm just going to go prepare. And that's what you do. Because meditation, dear ones, the whole reason for it is to quiet your mind and get into a place of allowance and preparation for you to move through a wall of belief to step out of a paradigm a paradigm that is so 3D there are those who will lead guided meditations especially for those in the West to let them know how to get to that place and, and guide them through that but even then there often is only preparation. The preparation is for free choice. And the free choice is this. What are you going to do once you have quieted? What are you going to do when you've sat for hours perhaps the yogis around the world learn to slow their heartbeat so that every cell of their body will be ready. And there they sit, ready. And some of them indeed will go to that next stage, but they can't take you with them. You'll see the nirvana, you'll see it on their faces, you'll know where they are, but they can't take you with them. Only you can do that. We're going to talk about that wall of belief tonight. But right now I want to continue this. There is a process. When I told the group in Egypt later on about that particular channel and I continued it, I gave them information that is also something it doesn't sit well with a lot of people. That my partner is not a meditator. He sits on the chair channeling to you, but he's not a meditator. He doesn't prepare. He doesn't sit and bring his heart rate down. He doesn't have that sweet place where you sit and sit and sit and then sit some more, preparing for something. Because the engineer that he is wanted to go straight to the gold. And when he sat in the chair and I came to him, that was the wall of belief and he went through it. He went through it. And in that, dear ones, when he sits in the chair now, he's ready. And the preparation is minimal. It's about two breaths. 
And he's there. And the there is what I want to talk about. The system allows for a human being to cross over a threshold of belief. And that was another channel in Egypt called Included. And we're going to talk about that later. Later today. Of what happens when you become included. And the inclusion that we are talking about is a threshold of belief that makes you understand fully that you're part of the creative source. You really are. A wall of belief, and it's such a wall to some because of what you've been told in your life. It's the cognizing of belonging to God. When you cognize something in your language, it means it becomes part of you. And it's no longer an abstract belief that you're looking at or analyzing or diagnostically looking and seeing if it's correct. If I ask you, do you believe in gravity? You would laugh and say, what's to believe in? If I'm not careful, I'll fall over. That's gravity. And you say, well, then you believe in it. And you will say, of course I believe in it because it is what it is. That is cognizing gravity. Can you cognize the fact that you belong to the Creator? Can you cognize the fact that you are known and your soul is known? Regardless of any doctrine or anything anyone has told you, dear ones, the creative source of this universe created you in the image of love. You are known. And each life in here, unique to your challenges and to your life's purpose and your free choice, then carries you across that barrier or not. There are those, so many of those, who think they have crossed the barrier and they have not. Because it feels really good to sit there and meditate. You can sit and meditate and feel the love of God. Tears can come down your eyes. You can spend hours only and at the end you'll say, I've been blessed, this is good, I'm going to do it again. And that wall of belief just sits there begging you to go through it. Meditation is being prepared. And what good does it do to sit and prep and not do anything? And prep and not do anything. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it gets you ready. But there's another step in that system. Blessed is the human being who understands that they are so connected with the other side of the veil and makes a choice to find out. The story of my partner in Cryon is a simple one. As an engineer, skeptical, making fun of all of the energy around him, being extra 3D, extra difficult, had a problem he couldn't solve. When two psychics three years apart, 40 years apart in age, gave him the same information using my name, Cryon. And he couldn't solve that with 3D. His slide rule didn't help him. And so what he did was challenge spirit. And he said, if this is real, show me. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. He didn't say, I'm going to meditate and get ready. He said, show it to me. And he sat in the chair, and dear ones, he had given permission. He had cognized the issue and said it could be there. Show me. 
And I did. He'll never forget that time. That defined his life. That was the, the separation from the known to the unknown. That was the beginning of his journey into things that were not logical, were not three-dimensional, were eye-rolling to many, and were beautiful. Going from black and white to color is the paradigm description of the perception. And that's the invitation. Dear ones, you've got to know this. If you're watched over, if you're loved, we will respond. Each one of you significantly, independently different. Some of you carry past life energies into this world and when others saw that they wouldn't believe what you've gone through. Some of you are going through them now and I'm going to tell you a little later today what happens when you cross that barrier of belief and what you can expect. That's the message today. That there is more. There's always more. And the more time goes on and the more evolved the potential thinking is that you carry to these meetings or the listener will have as you listen, the more that happens the more information will occur to you in an intuitive way. And you'll get ahas, perhaps in the middle of the night, that said, I now get it. I understand. And it comes from being open. Open to things you don't expect or don't know. Open to that which is the hero's journey. The achievement of heroism. To cross that barrier of belief. And become involved in something you didn't expect. Creation itself will answer to your call. I'll be back. And so it is.